Hi guys, this time I'll do a short series on digital to digital converters starting with the first cheapest one, cheapest one. Uh, this is PCM2704 uh, based uh, digital USB to coaxial converter and uh, optic converter with additional headphone output. <clears throat> it's very cheap, you can get something like that, the board only uh, version for like uh, $5 I think on AliExpress. Uh, it also features uh, control for mute and uh, volume if you're using headphone output, obviously, uh, because digital outputs won't be affected by the change or in the volume. Uh, so, it's very cheap, it's very simple, you're connecting your PC and you're able to connect uh, your digital devices, your older type of digital to analog converters, maybe some integrated stuff that accepts on, uh, or maybe half hour, that accepts on uh, coaxial or optic fiber inputs. Well, the theory says that if you're converting digital to digital, uh, the sound should be exactly the same. Uh, at least that's the uh, internet forum theory, because if you'll read uh, some things about how this conversion actually takes place, if you'll read about Jitter, if you'll read about the uh, audio transmission protocols, uh, and lack of uh, any kind of uh, correction uh, or control codes, uh, you will understand that it's not necessarily this way. Digital to, uh, to digital conversion may bring some errors, may bring some changes in sound quality. And <clears throat> uh, what would be the use case scenario for such a device? Uh, and I won't be talking about the headphone output because it's just a simple one. Uh, the first one is that you need to convert older type of device to USB. Uh, the second one is that uh, your device does not necessarily accept uh, the higher bit rates uh, that USB provides. <clears throat> and the third one, but not in this case, would be that uh, your device, uh, your DAC or half hour, uh, do have USB input, uh, but it's uh, based on uh, very cheap um, IC and it's not uh, the very best quality. In the first scenario, I wouldn't recommend uh, using this board because this board is also very cheap and it's not a good quality board. Uh, it gets the job done. So if you connect your USB or PC or something like that, and then you'll use uh, coaxial or optic fiber to connect your equipment, it will work. But the sound quality will be nothing to write home about. Uh, the main points, it's cheap and it works. So you can make a proof of concept if you want to check uh, if it will work with your equipment. Uh, and that's it. Now let's move to a better one, but it'll be in another video. Bye guys.